To me, suction mounts are an awesome bit in any filmmaker's kit, and it's normally related to GoPros. However, I've recently bought this. Delkin Fat Gecko Triple Camera Mount. According to Instagram polls, most people say they wouldn't trust it, and to be honest, until it arrived anyway, I didn't think I would have done at all, but you know, it's made of metal, and it, it claims that each suction cup takes 1.2 kilos, I think. So in total, it can take 3.6 kilos, which is about twice the weight of a 5D with a light lens on it. I have tested it, I stuck it to the window that's over there, with the 5D with a heavy lens on it, so it was a heavy old setup, and I reckon I probably could have hung off it as well. And in fact, if I did hang off it, I think the window would come out the wall first before the camera came off. Filled me with plenty of confidence to give it a go, which is what I'm gonna do. And the way I'm gonna give it a go is I'm gonna try and replicate slash teach you an effect from Top Gear back in the good old days with Clarkson Hammond and May on. That program was full of really amazing cinematography when it came to cars. There's one thing that's always stuck to me and that was this. It was a camera obviously on the bonnet but you were looking through the windscreen so you, you could still see the presenter talking. But what really sold the effect for me was the audio. Although it still looked really cool with just music and stuff like that playing, but it was the fact that he was still talking and, but you were still outside the car. First and foremost, these suction mounts will only work properly on a clean surface and I'm not willing to take any unnecessary risks. But unfortunately my car is absolutely hanging, so, I'm gonna go and give it a quick wash. The car is clean, well, <laughs> clean-ish, as best as I could do in a quick amount of time. And I've come somewhere, put it in park. I've come somewhere a little bit quiet and off the main road just to try this, because you know I'm not gonna be able to go too fast and what have you, and I need to be able to stop. Gear-wise, I am gonna risk using the 5d but i'm going to put the this lens the 16 to 35 on because it is, it is really light compared to the other ones and to get the audio i am going to just use a nice simple setup of a of a lav mic connected to a zoom h1n audio recorder let's just see if we can pull this cool top gear effect off and hope for the best and if my camera falls off then I will be in tears and everyone on Instagram who voted for the no way on the would you trust this suction mount, then you get the last laugh. <laughs> right, what could possibly go wrong doing this? So, I'm just gonna talk to you about the camera settings. That's really nerve wracking to see as I'm driving along is my <laughs> three and a half grand's worth of camera kit <laughs> stuck on the bonnet of my car. <laughs> have trust in the mount, have trust in the mount. So, camera settings are just normal in 24 frames a second, double the frame rate and all that kind of stuff. The only thing I have done that I don't, well, I have gone with manual focus. I've just set it on the headrest, so hopefully I'm in focus. And I've also gone with, oh, it's bumpy hit. And I've also gone with a circular polarizing filter, just so there's not so much glare on the windscreen and you can hopefully see my face nice and clearly. Um, that looks like it is quite wobbly. So, you know, maybe some stabilization in post could fix that. But yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to do. Oh dear, let's pull in there and have a look at the footage. Don't fall off. Don't fall off, don't fall off, don't fall off. What was I worrying about? It's absolutely fine. Right, so I've just stopped and looked at the footage on the screen on the back of the camera. And first impressions, it's not perfect, it's quite shaky. Um, so I'll probably try and stabilize this stuff that I'm gonna show you, just to try and get the best effect that I can. But that mount, I am genuinely, genuinely impressed with, and I think the effect could look really, really good. Especially if the weather was nicer, or if this was golden hour. 
and there was a nice sunset, I think this could be an amazing effect. So. Then all you need is some kind of remote audio recorder. Uh, even if you don't use a lav mic, you could just have the recorder inside the car. I'm using the Zoom H1N, and I will link that down below as well. You can easily sync the audio up in post-production to make it look to really sell that Top Gear effect of the camera being outside the car, but hearing the audio as as you were actually inside the car. The only other thing I'd recommend is getting a circular polarizer filter and just rotating it enough to take the glare off the windscreen in front of your subject and obviously setting the manual focus that way. What is he doing? He's making a right pig's ear of that. <laughs> um, but yeah, so if you are gonna give it a go, I would love to see how yours comes out. Tag me on Instagram at harry.base or ping me a DM with a link to your YouTube video, whatever it is. I'd love to see how yours comes out and this is certainly something I'm gonna do more. I've built a lot of confidence in that fat gecko mount in just the short journey I've done. Um, I'm not gonna get complacent with it. That's when things go wrong. So always make sure you've got a nice, clean, dry surface and follow all the instructions that it comes with. And obviously if something does fall off it's broken it is no it might be it is going to be fucked so do so at your own risk and i look forward to seeing your results if you did like this video then why not give it a thumbs up down below because that really is appreciated and it really does help and whilst you're down there if you want to see more videos just like this one then why not hit the subscribe button and turn on notifications as well so you don't miss anything but until then Get out there, get creative, and I'll see you in the next one. I can't cover the camera. Hang on, I'm coming. I'm coming, hang on. Ooh.